Graham here. Today we're gonna get a little creative and print on a tote bag. A couple things to keep in mind with a tote bag is that you're gonna have a slightly different screen setup and depending on your imprint you're gonna want a different platen. Today I decided to go with this youth or infant platen. We have these available on our website. It's got a 10 inch by 10 inch print area and my design fits perfectly in that area. Another thing to keep in mind with tote bags is unlike a shirt, you have less room to get it over the bracket and the platen. So that's why I'm using this small one. All right, I got my screen here. For the layout, I actually centered it for my tote bag. And that is because with these smaller platens, you don't have as much reach. And also, unlike most designs, you're actually gonna be having a uh, place it the opposite way and have it face you. So, tighten my screen down. My platen is the pad to get it nice and centered. And I like how that looks. Tighten down my bracket. A lot of tote bags have seams, so you can just pull at the side seams there, load it on, and try to get it nice and centered. a little stir I'm doing a print flash print because I'm printing on black fabric the white ink needs two layers to be nice and opaque. And right now I'm just gonna dry it to the touch. All right, so today I'm not gonna run my conveyor dryer for this short run of prints, so. What I'm gonna do instead is fully cure with my flash dryer. And a good tip for that is to pull off your garment or tote bag from your platen and lay it over it. And that way the heat is gonna actually be able to surround the ink layer because it's not uh, still adhered to the platen. And then you can get your uh, trusty laser temp gun and make sure your ink layer is getting up to 325. All right, there you go. Printed a tote bag, white ink, and cured it fully with the flash dryer.